Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver. As you can see, our plant is it's getting pretty big. It's got one, two, three nodes on it right now. Looks like maybe a fourth one is starting to uh, show up right around in there. The node is basically just where the branch is split off from the main stem. Each node also has its own little leaves starting in between uh, the branches there where they split off. So there's quite a lot of leaves and foliage on, on their way here. Today we're gonna be doing some LST, low stress training, with pipe cleaners on this plant. And it is in a fabric pot, so this is a new thing for me. But it doesn't really look like it's gonna be too much of an issue either way. I've gotten one pipe cleaner in here just as sort of an anchoring, um, anchoring line because you want to, with LST, aim to bend the plant over you can see it's quite bendy. Whereas if you just leave the plant alone to grow straight up, it will kind of form sort of a Christmas tree shape and you'll get one main cola with a nice bud on it um, and then a bunch of like the little ones off to the side, which is not what we want. We want to train it to get some more main colas. So for today's training, we already have everything we need in the tent, the pot, the plant's already growing. The only additional things, I went to the uh, dollar store, got some pipe cleaners here. This is a buck 25 for I don't even know, maybe 50 of them. And then just a little sharp tool. This is a Phillips head screwdriver. It's obviously not that sharp, but sharp enough that I can just poke a little hole in the side of the fabric here. You can just drive it through. And that just does a nice thin hole so the plant or the uh, planter doesn't get all torn up. I'm gonna pull out another paper, or sorry, I keep calling these paper clips, pipe cleaner. My method here is to make like a bit of a hook that goes around the stem of the plant like this, if you picture my finger as the stem. And then this end here, I sort of twist kind of lower down on the pipe cleaner. So we just do a nice kind of loose loop around it. So we'll take that off for now. And, uh, and yeah, that, that'll be the main goal. Really today, I'm just gonna be bending it over with one other pipe cleaner. As it starts to grow bigger and gets uh, like some of these stronger branches, not just these fan leaves, then we will start to pull additional branches down. So I'm really just gonna go in opposite to my anchor here, and, and we have the anchor so that when we bend it over, it doesn't uproot the plant or, uh, or just bend the whole plant over to the side, right? So I'm just gonna take my screwdriver, just poke a little hole, see it just went through pretty easily. Just got a little pinhole there. I'm gonna feed this end of the pipe cleaner through that pinhole, and I'll wrap that around just making that sort of little tie off thing where you just wrap the pipe cleaner around itself so that it doesn't come undone with the tension of the plant. And then we're just gonna determine on the plant where I wanna bend it. This node here is a good spot right below the node so that the two uh, fan leaves kind of can hold the pipe cleaner in place. It doesn't slide out right on off the top. And you can be decently rough with these things. You just have to be patient while you do it. You don't want to be swinging them around. And you want to do this while the plant is still young because the uh, the stem will thicken up again as it gets older. There is actually a training technique called, uh, it, it's high stress training, super cropping. And that's where you actually purposely damage the stem of the plant. You like squeeze it and kind of bend it around and uh, that's high stress. But with auto flowers, I'm avoiding high stress training because of how quickly they enter the flowering stage. High stress might not be a great idea. It doesn't really give the, the plant doesn't have enough time to recover and you might just end up kind of stunting your harvest. Low stress training seems to be uh, an easier method and a little more acceptable with auto flowering plants. But if you, if you look other, way, other places on the internet, you definitely will find some alternative approaches. And you'll see actually the plant will reorient itself very quickly. Like I'm expecting even just later today uh, for the leaves and things to sort of turn and, and uh, reorient themselves towards the light. If you're wondering when you can start low stress training, I'd say the goal is to, um, is to get the plant trained right around when it has like three or four nodes. And keeping in mind this is an auto flower too, so you definitely want to make sure you're on it early enough so that the plant can, it has time to actually be trained and it's not just gonna start flowering right after you do this, which obviously will not be beneficial for you. I know that camera angle was not super great. You couldn't see really what I was doing up close. So I just wanna show you guys how this is anchored. Um, that's the end. So I just poked a hole through the fabric. There's the loop around the fabric. 
and then it leads to the plant through here wrapped around the stem and if you look underneath I've just this is the end of the pipe cleaner the other end I've just wrapped that around itself so definitely first step anybody for LST is uh, is to have this anchor line in and then we have a pretty significant bend actually right around the second node there so that'll be great because these new these new uh, growth areas will hopefully start to orient back up to the light and we can get some new colas coming in. But anyway guys, that's it. That's all we're going to do today. Make sure to keep your airflow, keep the plant watered properly, and uh, you can gradually increase the lighting as we go. Um, I still have mine sitting around 55. Uh, maybe in a few days I'll, I'll kind of turn that up a bit and just gradually increase the light as the plant gets older. Thank you guys all for watching. Leave your comments below if you have any LST tips or different training that you like to do with your plants. And uh, tell me how training has gone for you if you've grown auto flowers in the past. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please consider subscribing down below. It helps me out quite a bit. And as always, there's some product links down in the description if you guys want to start your own grow and you'd like to use the things that I use. Hope everybody's having a nice uh, Christmas break and staying safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.